So I'm noticing that more and more women are choosing abstinence and celibacy. And at this point, I definitely understand why. Like between the situationships, the men not wanting to commit, the men not wanting to be honest, the down low men, and these married single men, I get it. I do. I really do. And I feel like I have really truly made the decision to work on myself and to be by myself while I'm in this transition period. Like I feel like I'm in a weird transition period. But a million, but forgetting the fact that you are in control of your own life. And it's always a woman that has two to three kids and two to three baby dads that wants to be in church on Sunday talking about God is going to give me a husband. God is going to bring me a good man. I need a God fearing man. No, you don't. You need some accountability. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Say it with me y'all. Roll that clip. I've accepted it. And I feel like now is the time for me to really just focus on myself and not think about dating i feel like i have goals and i have things that i want to do first before i actually date because i really do want to date with a purpose <laughs> <laughs> but y'all the things that i have been seeing lately it's just like beyond and it's too many things out here like i'm not shocked that women are choosing these things i'm not shocked that women are content with these things and it's some men too like don't get me wrong it is some men too that are tired of it too and they've decided you know i'm just gonna be by myself but the things that i have been seeing lately y'all like if i'm being honest like i'm thoroughly disgusted like people feelings they don't care about how they make people feel it's really just People are just out for themselves now. They don't care how they make people feel. They don't care about how they treat people. They only care about themselves. And this is like really sickening. <laughs> Celibacy is defined as the state of abstaining from marriage and sexual relations. Oh! The state of abstaining from marriage and sexual relations. Now let's define abstinence abstinence oh. the fact or practice of restraining oneself from indulging in something typically alcohol but it can also mean sex or pleasures now when we look at the modern women we have to look at them for who they are they have a oh. lack of accountability they don't want to take responsibility for the things that they're doing. So instead of saying, you know what, it's me, they say, I'm going to be celibate. So when we're looking at celibacy and abstinence, you're abstaining from SCX and marriage relationships and all of that. But a lot of modern women, they choose to go down the celibacy and abstinence road because they're a bitter BBW, a bitter black woman, or an SS BBW, a super, super bitter black woman. And instead of taking accountability, you want to blame everybody but yourself. And see, we need to understand in the world that we live in, again, lack of accountability on women, especially black women. So, fellas, have you ever seen a woman in church? You know when we would all go to church. I was raised in a church. You might have been raised in a church. 
So when you grow up in the church, you have that period where you have to go to church. Like you don't have a choice. Then you graduate high school and then you go off to college. During that time, you may or may not go to church. But afterward, when you finish college, that's typically where women come home and they say, I have a boyfriend, we're dating. Maybe they have a ring on their finger, they're getting ready to get married. And so with black women, especially modern black women, they have the tendency to use God, Jesus, and the church as a crunch for lack of accountability. Yep. They turn to God when they need a man. They turn to God when they want a husband. They turn to God when they need help. But not forgetting that God helps those who help themselves. Yep. Instead of you taking accountability, black woman, you want to go to God. You want to go to church. You want to praise the Lord. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with church or praising the Lord if that's what you do. But be genuine. Don't go out into the world and mess up and then come back and talk about Jesus all day. Fellas, you ever notice that the biggest Bible thumpers are the singlest woman? You never see a married woman in church. You rarely see it. Like you'll see a married woman with a husband and kids in church, but you will rarely see a married, happy woman in church. Because church is different. Now, church is filled with women that took no accountability when they were younger and they got older and then they decided, okay, I'm going to depend on God to get me a man, but forgetting the fact that you are in control of your own life. And it's always a woman that has two to three kids and two to three baby dads that wants to be in church on Sunday talking about God is going to give me a husband. God is going to bring me a good man. I need a God-fearing man. No, you don't. You need some accountability. The reason why so many women are angry and abstinent is because of you. You laid down with dogs and got up with fleas and now you don't want to take accountability. So now you blame everybody but yourself. Yep. Instead of you saying, you know what? I made these mistakes. I got pregnant at a young age. I didn't have a father growing up. I didn't know how to respect a man. My mother didn't teach me how to be a wife or how to be a mother because she didn't know how to do it herself. You blame men. And then when men call women out because we want women to change, all of a sudden we hate black women. We hate women. Y'all don't say that to white men. Y'all don't say that to Asians or Hispanic Latinos or Arabic men. You only say that to black men. Because the fact of the matter is, is that black women do not respect black men. They don't respect black men. They don't respect black leadership. They don't respect anything black but themselves. Modern women do not know how to be wives because they're raised to be modern women. Modern women are not born. They are created. They are created by the single mother. And because they're created by a single mother, the modern woman is born through the modern day society that we live in. It's like I always say, ladies, you can do one of two things. You can get better or you can get better. But the choice is yours. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video,
peace.